There we go. Make sure my mic on. Peace to everybody out there. I hope you're having a great cosmic rise at night. Whatever you see in this video. Um, I got this video here where we talking about how the streaming community is full of gay niggas. Um, and that's why, I, you know, oh, shit, I don't spill water, bro. Yes, um, you may have heard Soul, Soul Illuminati speak on this. Um, this video, too, that I'm watching is by, uh, Truth Live, Truth or Live. Shout out to him for making this video. We needed this video right here, the humiliation rituals of Twitch streamers, because a lot of niggas that be, that be, a lot of niggas in the streaming community with big platforms, um, they're gay. They're gay. Aiden Ross, Kai Sinet, we seen Kai Sinet and Speed in the shower together. They're gay. Uh, Aiden Ross is gay. They all have orgies and shit. They be fucking each other. It's gay. It's just strictly gay shit. Nasty, sick gay shit. And then they try to put it on these streams to, uh, uh, to force it on the children. Because they know a lot of children, a lot of grown people don't be watching these streamers. It be children. So you gotta, they're grooming these children for all, they grooming these children by pushing all this gay shit on these streams out to the public. Like speed, speed is the worst streamer that should be out right now. Speed should be banned. Speed should be the shit that Speed is doing on camera in front of these little kids. Speed should be killed. I'm not even gonna hold you. That nigga deserves the firing squad. Um. So yeah, you know a lot of these streamers are bad influencers, and they're the worst people. They're the scum of the earth, and they don't. A lot of them need their they need their accounts revoked. Take their viewers and give them to me, goddammit, because a lot of that shit they doing on camera be gay as fuck, and we finna get into it right here. Cash or Raymond, bro. Uh -oh. Bro, go and start your stream so we can do this wager. Please. Bro, stop with that gay ass. What the fuck? You just put your dick on. That was Aiden Ross. That was Aiden Ross that just did that gay shit. These niggas gay, fool. This shit be pissing me off because y'all niggas, y'all niggas support. So a lot of y'all niggas out here be supporting this shit. That's the crazy part. A lot of y'all niggas that's in my age bracket and shit, y'all be supporting this gay ass shit and pushing this gay ass shit and. Y'all be rocking with these niggas and always in their lives and shit and paying these niggas money, donating to them. Y'all donate to niggas like these. You got to think about it. As a human being, there are niggas out there donating to these niggas thinking that this shit is just entertainment for fun. Nah, this shit nasty and sick, fool. And the little kids see this shit and think it's okay to do because they saw it on stream. They thought it was funny. They thought it was something cool to do because the streamers are doing it. No, it's gay to do. This shit is gay. Tell me for nigga. Bro, niggas is trying to get me in a diaper, bro. It's, niggas said it's cool, move on. No, it's not cool, move on. It's not. It was always exciting when my favorite streamers would go on air. They draw in thousands of viewers to see what crazy segments they would come up with. I gotta be next up. Make make me next up, cuz in the streamer community. Make me ne the real the real streamers. Make me next up so I can so I can fight this shit. So I can call these niggas out and we can I can diss these niggas, drop diss tracks on these niggas, everything on how gay they are. They're all gay. These niggas do not need to be in front of children. All they do is promote shit like this all day long and then gambling too. Cause they go on kick. You got something called kick where they be doing illegal gambling on there on online casino sites and shit. You can't do that on Twitch because Twitch will ban your account for that shit, but kick they don't do that. Like, this shit is getting wild, man. My streamers are my heroes. They do anything to entertain me, even if it means being harassed, degraded, and humiliated in front of thousands. I love my streamer. I love my streamer. And it says right here, Plague Boy, get, Plague Boy Max. Plague Boy Max is one of the, one, a, 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 good, a big streamer out right now, too. He gets upset and feels humiliated after being over-sexualized, made fun of, and made to lose a challenge by FaZe to see him wear a diaper in public. Like, yeah. See how they do you? You Faze, Playboy Max had to do some shit to even join FaZe. I'm gonna just let you know that now, so. 
The streaming and music industry are eerily similar in modern day, both falling under the umbrella of the entertainment industry, each one equally offers a path to fame, a shot at becoming someone of importance. The entertainment industry has always been a shady business. It's a business that seeks to exploit as many people as possible, whether it be actors, Woo! musicians, or in mod- He did not put the Dan Schneider with- Miranda Kai, oh my god. Woo, what y'all know about this right here? When I, it's after seeing this boy, my whole childhood was ruined. One day, live streamers. What truly makes me uncomfortable is the current cultural landscape of how this all works. Come on with these huh? ads, bro. I ain't got time for that, bro. Bye bye. Oh, Cash or <laughs> Raymond, bro. Uh -oh. Bro, go and start your stream so we can do this wager. Please, bro, stop with that gay ass. What the fuck you just put your dick on me for, nigga? And then he ain't gonna do shit about it. See, if that was a real straight man, boy, I'm talking about the right hook from the right hook. See, when you get out the seat, you get extra power. You get an extra five plus five strength. You get an extra plus five agility and an extra plus five damage. So you gotta think about it. When a nigga turned out his seat to swing with that bitch, you nigga, what? Bitch? Nigga, fuck? I'm talking about that swing of break. That shit'll make a nigga jaw need to be rewired. Hitting with the when you get out the seat and swing with it, cause you gotta get out the seat. So when you push off, you pushing off with that extra. <laughs> you get what? If that was a real heterosexual man, he would have got up and folded the fuck out of Aiden Ross. Fuck Aiden Ross, bro. Fuck all the fuck Kyson. It fuck Aiden Ross. Fuck uh Speed. Fuck uh Duke Dennis. All them streamers, eight, cause they support that shit. And they was just supporting that nigga, uh, Mr. Beast. Like, fuck all them niggas. Them niggas is sick, bro. Stop watching them niggas. Um, this, this shit is, this shit is crazy, bro. Um, but stop watching them niggas. Them niggas is gay. To all you little kids, you young niggas that, that be, that be seeing a lot of shit. And I, I, I could recommend niggas like RDC Gaming. I could recommend niggas like Burleazy. I could recommend niggas like I'm Dante. I could recommend niggas like Jace. I can recommend niggas like, uh, 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 who else? Who else can I think of? That's a good, a decent streamer that ain't on no gay shit. Um, damn, it's some other niggas I can think of, but I just can't think of them off the top of my head. But, like, all these big niggas, like, Kai, Aiden, uh, uh, Plat Boy Max, because he's questionable. Um, I'm Rage, whatever that nigga name is, you're so Rage, whatever that nigga, nigga he's questionable because he hangs with those niggas. All the niggas hang together and they're gay and they get into orgies and shit behind closed curtains. So yeah, all those niggas are questionable. Oh, another streamer that I recommend y'all watching, DJ Ghost. Go watch DJ Ghost, the realest nigga you can watch, bro, on stream, you know, a streamer. But all these other streamers, these big streamers, stop watching. Streamers them. is under the same umbrella as these entertainers. That's all they are is entertainers. They have to entertain you for a living. They have to go viral for their night. They have to do this on a consistent basis. It's not like a movie star where they get a lump sum. It's not like an NBA player when they get signed to a, sign a contract and just hoop and right. do the occasional photo shoots. You have to go live a certain amount of times in order to get that monthly revenue to get a good check next month. You got to go live a certain amount of times. Yo, bro, why is he not banned? Yo, Kick, how the fuck you not going to ban him, nigga? He just sexually Probably assaulted me on stream. Bro. This is how he reacted to sexual assault. So this is what happens to these streamers who sell their souls, especially when they sell their soul to somebody like Aiden Ross. A new trend has emerged. Audiences have developed a morbid fascination with content that exploits people's discomfort and vulnerability. The twisted interest has been caused by the revelations of P. Diddy, a one superstar now exposed as a groomer, rapist, murderer, and harasser. Despite the gravity of these accusations. Oh, there you go. That's the nigga. That's the nigga I'm talking about right there. That's the nigga I'm talking about. I'm so rage. Whatever this nigga TV, whatever this nigga name is, Rage Gaming or something. He's gay too. Cause he just let that nigga smack him on the ass and he do shit about it. Phrases like diddled, diddy parties, and no diddy have become viral sensations, ironically popular among the youth. What should be chilling reminders? He ain't do shit about it. He just standing there. This is all for views, bro. Any real nigga, what up, <laughs> bitch? <laughs> bitch. What? Gave a nigga, I'm talking about a nigga face would have been woo after I fucked him up. Wow though. I'm talking about a nigga face, he would have had to press charges on me. He would have had to press first degree murder, assault, battery. He would have had to press all kind of charges on me after I beat the fuck out this nigga face. 
And this nigga face is fucked up from doing some gay shit. Stop doing shit like this. I get because y'all y'all promote this shit to the children. Let a child or a teenager, whatever, just let somebody dumb enough to go out here and do this to a random person. They get fucking killed over that shit, bro. Of predatory behavior have instead been transformed into a grotesque form of humor. In this dark he gonna, culture, he gonna smack them back. This is wild. landscape. Viewers eagerly tune in to see their favorite streamers placed in these uncomfortable giddy like degrading situations all for the sake of a quick laugh so they can spam diddy in the chat this the is, line between entertainment and exploitation this has been blurred and that is going to cause for a lot of problem and leaves for people to actually become exploited the most recent victim of this being mr black boy max who recently spoke out about how the multi-million dollar streaming company face clan Look at this shit. FaZe Banks really the ditty of live streaming. Facts. He's not capping. Look at this shit. This nigga over here hugging this nigga, grabbing them black boy man. Gay ass niggas, bro. And pushes him and tries to get him to do degrading and uncomfortable things. Even when he strictly says he doesn't want to do them, they will unfairly try to force him into doing such things, such as wearing a diaper in public. Bro, niggas is trying to get me in a diaper, bro. It's, nigga said it's cool, move on. No, it's not cool, move on. It's not. Bro, y'all can see, I, even though I was in Miami smacking my ass, doing all type of crazy shit, bro, like, and they're seeing me on my hand. It's, you should never, ever let go of your morals, ever. It is very evident that Max has come to regret his past actions as he can now see how this industry has set him up to humiliate himself in the past. He's now trying to change, however, they're not allowing him to do so. Like, bro, I'm not walking down Melrose in public with a diaper so that I can go on Fairbuck and not ask them forever. No, I'm trying to mature and grow as a person. And so it's like, bro, when niggas is making up rules, literally making it so I got to lose a challenge when I'm doing everything niggas is telling me. It's not about the loss. I lost some practical jokers. It's the fact that niggas is just, it feels like niggas just want to sexualize me in a weird way that I'm not comfortable being sexualized. And it's like, okay, I understand they probably don't see it like that, but I see it like that because that's what's happened. Guys, I'm literally on gay Twitter, all type of shit. Niggas hitting on me thinking I'm not. And it's like, bro, now I'm getting back in the car. I'm expressing myself and Ron Smirk and niggas laughing. No one, niggas don't take me serious. It's like, bro, y'all see I'm mad. Why are you going to come back here? And when you see I'm mad and I'm visually thinking about things, you gonna make it a clip or make it something niggas could talk about in Twitter communities. No one, niggas don't take me serious. They not gonna take you serious because number one, you black and you done made yourself. <laughs> they little. Hey, bro, funny as hell. He said they not gonna take you serious because you black. That's true though. Clip toy. You ain't they boy toy. You they clip toy. Facts. Whenever they want to clip, they go into your stream. Yep. Whenever they want to come up a little bit, they go into your stream. Come on now. Whenever they want a little bit of our culture, they go into your stream. You ain't nothing but the nigga. Don't forget that. They they not gonna take you serious. They don't feel how you feeling, bro. They don't do that shit. They don't do the shit that you do. They don't sacrifice the things that you sacrifice. So when you come up to them laughing or trying to be real and have a real conversation, what you expect them niggas to do? Sympathize with you? All of y'all sold y'all souls. None of y'all niggas have a shred of consciousness. None of y'all have a shred of empathy. Whatsoever. But you saying you trying to mature and grow as a person, yet you still hanging with people who laugh in your face when you being dead serious. It's time to reevaluate. It's time to reevaluate if that's really what you're trying to do, my nigga. It's sad to see. I do hope Max can somehow get out of the industry somewhat or at least get Never. out of Face Clan, which he has a contract Never. with because Never. he literally he got a contract. That's the key word. The nigga has a contract. The nigga has a contract. He's cooked. Once there's a contract involved, you're cooked. Nine times out of ten, he didn't read the contract because he's another dumb black nigga that's just looking to come up and get rich to impress other men. Not even impress other women, impress other men so he can feel like he's somebody in life. And now that he don't got, to, now that he got what he's got, he didn't know it comes with having his ass cheeks getting touched and his booty hole getting flickered with, uh, you know, fucking with these niggas because he thought he thought he was just. He thought he was just coming up. No, nigga. No, nigga. He they're not coming. Look, look at this. This is gay. This is all gay, bro. Stop watching these niggas. Even even watch this shit, right? Let me go see if I can find this shit, right? Speed and Prime with Ava, right? 
Do y'all remember this shit, fool? Aiden, bro. Aiden, Fro Aiden Ross confronts I show bro. speed and prime about acting strange after stream. If they smash, this was a humiliation ritual for Prime and Speed. This is way before they were even at their peak, how they are today. Ava is a transgender, uh, a transgender, a transgender. Ah, uh, Ada, a, this this girl Pippin right here, Pippin that girl right there is a transgender man. That's a man that that's a woman that used to be a man. You feel me? So watch Pippin this shit, bro. right? And it, even Aiden, he posted this on his channel. He posted this on, this is a humiliation Perfect. ritual. He posted this on his channel. He got 2.4 million views. Watch hey, everyone. We're Aiden posted this on his own channel. This is sad, bro. And Aiden is a Jew. And you know what them Jews do. Like, yeah, they run shit. They gatekeep shit. And the only way you're going to get in is if you do shit like this. And guess what? Google Play Games is the official PC platform for... Perfect, bro. They definitely did something that made you awkward to be at Yo, bro, bro. Y'all ugly as hell, bitch ass. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Yo, hold up, bro. What the? Now he told me to mute. You had to tell me something. It was about that phone call you had to take. Also, chat. Oh, wait, hold up. My bad. It's unlocked. Nine three zero three. It's cold, it's not in here. It's cold in here? Yeah, it's cold as hell. Damn, what the fuck is that smell? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro. Chill, bro. That stinks. Oh, God, it smells so bad. Chill, bro. I'm gonna this. <laughs> Chill, bro, you tweaking. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing, bro. Hey, pull up some chairs. <laughs> Bro, chill out. Like, come on, what, 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 I'm chilling. Look, 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 look. You see that? You see that? See, humans. Me as a human, I read psychology and body language very well. They keep telling him to chill out because they know they just fucked the transgender in the ass. They didn't. They didn't. She probably not. She it. It has a dick. This has a dick. So best believe they couldn't fuck vagina. No, they had to get straight in that asshole. They put it straight in that ass. Whatever they had an orgy in the bath, I don't know. But how do you not wash after that shit is the question. But um, they coming in with their shirts off and shit. Speed, you ain't never seen Speed this calm before, bro. You ain't never this nigga always acting wild and shit. You ain't never seen Speed act this calm before, nigga. That's how you know that nigga nuts got put on flat. You feel me? That nigga nuts got put on flat. He don't know how to act no more. You feel me? And then this nigga, he, you feel me? They talking about chill out. They feel embarrassed. This is a sign of embarrassment. Embarrassment. <laughs> what? Nothing, bro. Hey, pull up some chair. <laughs> bro, chill out. Like, come what? on. Yeah. Weird I'm, chilling, bro. I'm chilling. They embarrassed. Chilling. What is he? Chilling. I'm, I'm weird. Good. Bro, just fall with chair. Bro, you being weird. <laughs> <laughs> chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Yo. Alright, I'm good, bro. I'm good. Y'all good? I'm great. I'm great also. Look at this shit. The fuck funny? Nothing, bro. Bro, what what is that smell though? On oh, God, it smells really bad. Oh, no. Let's let me smell. No, like your breath. What? It's not your breath. It it's not, stinks. What does it smell like? <laughs> like like must, bro. <laughs> Musty. You ain't musty, though. You know what I mean? No. <laughs> Got them niggas smelling each other. See, this is a humiliation ritual. Posted this on his shit. Two point. Let's read the comments. This may be the first time Aiden is the least sus person in the room. Prime out here looking like future. Hell no. When you play the devil's game, I want you to read this comment right here. When you play the devil game, you have to be humiliated for his amusement. The fact y'all don't think this video is weird shows a lot. Come on now. This nigga is gay. And then he got another one right here talking about, uh, you know, this nigga speed coming out talking about he's gay or whatever. I don't know. But this was a humiliation ritual, bro. That was a humiliation ritual for a little speed and prime. But mainly speed, though. Because look how much speed blew up after this shit. That nigga went up times a million after this shit. You want to know how he went up? Because Aiden gave him them views. Aiden said, okay, now that you did what you did, here go your money. I'm finna uh I'm finna set up your stream farm so that way all your fake stream and fake views and fake comments can come in. Um 
Don't get me wrong, some other people, don't get me wrong, a lot of them, other half of the people is real because you have to use the fake shit in order to attract all those real people in to come on his channel. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Bro, go and start your stream. Go back here. He would not, bro, that nigga would not let me, bro. Come on, bro. Suki is another African-American, similar to Max. However, Suki left temporarily to go back to New York. It's also possible that Silky saw the weird energy that Faze was on and decided to take a break. Oh, there's no number. Oh, Silky! Oh, Silky! Oh my God! Fat gay oh nigga. my God! Silky and Rage and Max running a fucking BBC train on me. This is sad. But that kind of left Max alone in the situation by himself, as his other African American friend, being your age, also isn't here. It's kind of clear that these guys that have been in the industry for a while are kind of avoiding certain things, while Max got caught off guard and is paying the price for it. Gone. Z Prime, you feel me? Every time I see Aiden, I know some freak shit coming. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> yeah. That's what he do. He degraded himself to the point where he don't he don't have no self-respect. Every time you see him, it's just going to be freak shit because that's what he created himself to be. That's what he created himself to be, bro. That's what he did to get to the point where he at. I tell you all all the time, bro, it wasn't hard for Aiden to blow up, bro. It and I know a lot of niggas is going to like turn they nose up at me you feel me a lot of niggas is gonna act like i'm crazy for saying another nigga blow up was easy you feel me but it wasn't hard for aiden to get attention he was just willing to lose himself for the clout he was willing to do things that he knew would get a reaction out of people he was willing to do things that he knew would get eyes you feel me he was willing to do things that you not willing to do because you got morals he ditched his morals to get to where he at Cause Aiden Ross was at that all white booty party. Yeah. And look at what Snaggy decides to do. Do y'all see this big ass nigga? Look at what this big ass nigga decide. He decided to grab him by the hips. Yeah. There's no point. Did you choose an advanced spot to give me protection? No. Like that true. wasn't. A, there wasn't a point to that. That was just an oopsie usually. But this is what these niggas do because it's clip farming. Got a clip farm. Right. You have to clip form. As a streamer, if you don't clip form, then you won't make it. That's what they all say. So that's what everyone does. And because of this, a new disease has emerged. I wanted to announce that this is the real me. This is, this is sad. So I'm going to just end it there. I ain't going to keep going too longer with this video. I just wanted to show you all the fact that the Twitch community cooked. Actually... A lot of niggas is realizing that this shit is cooked. So we can revitalize the Twitch. Let's revitalize Twitch with real hetero. You see that shit? You see the testosterone through the muscles, nigga? You see that shit right there? That, that, that little extra shit? Yeah, nigga, that's that extra testosterone. We need real hetero men. Let's, we can revitalize Twitch easy. Let's just start giving all the real niggas the views. Let's just start watching these niggas and how we're exposing these niggas and just playing good games and having fun. Genuine fun. You know, uh, uh, funny ass jokes. You know, little, little, you know, little, uh, little funny shit. No crazy shit. Gang, it ain't even gotta be no crazy shit. You feel me? All this shit right here is sad. This is... Every Twitch streamer has degraded themselves to get to where they at. That includes you, Kaisenet. That includes you, Speed. That includes Aiden. That includes Plaque. That includes Rage. That includes all these phase niggas. All of them are Mr. Beast and the nigga he's hanging with. All those niggas are gay. Stop watching them. They don't have no morals. They don't have no... Et they're, willing to, they're willing to betray each other. They're willing to sell each other out just to get to where they... They don't even give a fuck about each other. Them little groups and shit that they got phase and... You know, all whatever other groups that they got, nigga, they don't give a fuck about each other, bro. They don't. All they want to do is get the, they want to get to the next bag. That's all they want to do. They want to get to the next bag, and the only way they going to get to the next bag is doing some gay shit, fool. It's some gay shit. That's the only way these niggas going to get to the bag, because they're, 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 they're gay. They're gay. And all the streamers had to go to who to get this clout?
Aiden Ross. Aiden Ross is the head honcho of all this shit. FaZe ain't even bigger than Aiden, nigga. Name somebody on FaZe right now that's bigger than Aiden. Exactly. Even even uh, AMP, nigga. The whole AMP crew is gay, nigga. Name somebody right now on AMP that's bigger than Aiden. Not even Kai Sinet is bigger than Aiden. Aiden made Kai, nigga. Let's get that correct. Aiden is the Jew gatekeeper, the gay Jew gatekeeper. He's a part of the gay Jewish mafia, the same gay Jewish mafia that runs the music industry. That's why a bunch of gay shit going on in the music industry. I'm done, man. I love y'all, man. Y'all stay in tune. Stay away from these streamers. Stay away from these gay niggas in general. Stay away from these gay, satanic, demonic, stupid ass niggas. Let's make real, let's make real testosterone hetero niggas. Let's make these niggas viral. Let's make niggas like me viral that's calling this gay shit out. And the only reason I'm calling out is not because for you grown niggas. It's because of the children watch this shit. Hopefully I can get, the, see, I don't, and then see, you know, Motherfuckers will come across this shit and be like, oh, he just talking, he, they ain't gay, and that uh, you don't know what the fuck I know, and you ain't seen the shit that I'm seeing, you can't see the perspective from my, the, from what I see, we're two different human beings, but I'm here to try to get you to see from my perspective, the clear signs that these niggas are showing that they are doing humiliation rituals just to gain fame and clout, it's literally this, that's been the fucking thing since the 90s, 80s, nigga, since... Mute, before streaming was streaming, nigga, the music industry was in the movie industry was where you had to sell your soul. Now that the streaming industry is getting more popping in the music and the movies and all this shit, now they're like, okay, we got a new place where we can get niggas to sell their souls at. We can get all these little kids to grow up and sell their souls easily by wanting to be these streamers. This shit not cool, bro. This shit lame. That's why I don't watch none of these niggas on stream. I don't watch these streamers, bro. I don't. They're whack. They're lame. And they're, most importantly, they're gay. And, you know, I don't have a problem with gay people. I have a problem when you're openly forcing this shit and openly promoting this shit to children. That's when I have a problem with you gay people. Leave that shit at home, man. I'm done. Y'all stay in tune, man. Stay in tune. Keep your third eye open. Pineal gland. P-I-N-E-A-L. Google that. P-I-N-E-A-L To those who don't know what that is Go Google what a pineal gland is And you'll probably learn a fucking lot from there A lot of shit will start to open a rabbit hole for you I'm done